Hi, I'm Dave Easley uh, uh, here with MusicCityLicks.com with Mike Bork, and um, we're just talking about uh, steel guitar playing, and um, I'm sort of into this uh, flow of consciousness thing where uh, one thing leads to another, so... Um, Maybe it's because I can't. We're, we're musiccitylicks.com. I don't remember that many licks. But when you just start playing, then what you're doing is licks. So I'm into this sort of like flow of consciousness thing where you start somewhere and then um, it's like trading fours, like in jazz music. Um, you, 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 the trumpet player plays something, the drummer plays something, and what the last guy played, uh, it, it gives you an idea of what to play next. And so it's like the same thing, except when you're like doing a solo or something, you're just uh, following along uh, in, 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 behind what you just did. So you start somewhere, and then that leads to the that gives you an idea for what how you're going to follow that. That's why there are no mistakes in jazz because whatever you just did, that's what you're going to follow. If, even if you didn't intend to do what you just did, the next thing that you do is the sensible or logical follow-up to what you just actually did. And so, in that sense, it wasn't a mistake. It's, it's part of the whole thing. So, let's start somewhere. We'll do the same thing. I had put this uh, bass, down, bass line down. <laughs> How do you follow that? Oh, and that's a good idea. So, uh, kind of singing along. I don't, I don't know if you can hear me singing with this thing, but uh, I'll turn it. And uh, you don't have to put a microphone in front of you. You know, I don't have a, a pretty voice like George Benson, but it kind of focuses your mind on um, what, what the flow of your ideas. So, so often in um, uh, bebop music or jazz music, you, you hear somebody play like a few notes and then they'll do the same thing, um, the, same, uh, the same notes but with a different rhythm. Or they'll do the, the same uh, uh, rhythm but on a, on a higher grouping of notes. And... Um, 
So it's really a matter of uh, what do you hear in your mind's ear to follow what you just heard before. Telling a story, you know, like um, when one of the most famous novels, A Tale of Two Cities, everybody remembers the beginning. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It sort of sets up a rhythm, and then everything flows from that. Um, and... Um, You just uh, get started and, and uh, see what you want to do next. 